All right, guys, that was our plot and fishing trip day with my twin. Hey, turn that off for a second. <laughs> Hey guys, Survival Mouse back with another video. Sorry I took a little bit of a hiatus. I thought I'd be doing a lot more videos, but I got a boat and a truck and I might as well have put up a sign that said going fishing. So I'm here today with my twin who is now a pilot, so congratulations on that. Um, today, we tell them what the plan is. What we today? Uh, the plan is hopefully uh, not to get rocked around too bad. Um, I flew from Kennesaw with my daughter this morning up to Calhoun. Uh, pretty bumpy. Um, and then landed here and we waited for the winds to die down and we're like ah good enough so <laughs> now we're going to we've got the fishing poles in the airplane we're gonna do the pre-flight on the airplane and we're gonna take off and head to Gunnersville and go fish for the day and uh then we're gonna come back here pick up my daughter and then head back to uh Kennesaw actually we're not are we? we're gonna see if she can stay and then me and you go straight from Gunnersville back to Kennesaw yeah yeah so good day of flying all right let's hope we don't get bumped around too much Walk us through what you're doing here. Hmm? Walk us through what you're doing here. So I'm trying to figure out. I gotta find Gunnersville. And then, so there's Scottsville. There's Gunnersville. So we are here, and we're pretty much going straight west. It's real easy to find once you get there because it's the only island. But I gotta plot this, find out our true course, do the wind correction angle, figure out because if you're flying this way and say the winds are coming from here and you just fly okay we got to head west as you're flying the winds pushing you right so you got to know what angle to crab at to get there and how much fuel burn you're going to use and all that make sure that we've got enough to be legal when we get there during the day we only got to have 30 minutes of reserve fuel but i swore that i would never be the guy that ends up on channel two because i didn't put gas in a plane so <laughs> right we always get a little extra so let's let's do that We're going to take off runway 17. So that is where's my nautical? There we go, nautical miles. 66 nautical miles away. Sweet. All right, so we're right now we're just taking the tie downs off of it. As for if there's really strong winds or something, it doesn't get bumped around. And we'll be doing a pre flight. So, you guys might not recognize this aircraft, but this is actually the one I flew in and on the last few videos. But my brother here paints for a living and he painted the airplane. So, as you can see, it looks way better than what my first ride look like it's a beautiful plane looks a lot better than it did look when i first took my uh first flight lesson in this thing i thought it was a prank so this is a cessna 150 this was built in 1962 was it 1962 it was built uh 1965 e model 1965 e i've already checked the uh quantity we have what i say 17 gallons yeah, 17 gallons. We burn an average of five. You do six for the first. We've got almost three hours worth of fuel, and it's only going to take us an hour to get there. So we're good. Sweet. We'll, we'll fill up with gas there. But now what we're going to do is check the quality of the fuel. That door's locked again. So we've got these little ports right here. We push in. And we're looking, and it's supposed to be a blue color, and you can't really tell it's blue until you put it up to white. But you're looking for bubbles, make sure there's no water in there. If there's water, it's heavier than the fuel, and so you'll have little bubbles down at the bottom that are not blue. Just take a pour that out. We did the same thing to the other side. We check our fuel. And then you've got a fuel drain right here. So we check, again, this is the lowest part of the fuel system. So we pour right here. And you see it just pours fuel out onto the ground, and we're looking to make sure that there's no bubbles right there. And we're going to check our oil. Holds between four and six quarts. And then we got just a little over four. So we'll put a quart of oil in it when we get to um, Gunnersville. Gunnersville. We gotta come 
around to the other side and do the fuel. We're good. We'll show what it looks like. You can't really tell that it's blue until you get it. It's like that light blue color is what it's supposed to be for 100 octane low red. tells me is we're going to have decreased performance um, meaning it's going to take us longer to take off um, and it's going to take us a longer landing line. Um, I've had to do the calculations for that both here and for Gunnersville and the reason for that is is when it's hot there's the air molecules are spread out further and the propeller doesn't get as much of a bite on the air because they're, they're not as closely packed together. Well it, it affects both the performance of that. This is basically a giant wing. That's what catches the air pushes it so we're also going to have decreased performance with the wing i'm so, used to decreased performance <laughs> i am not a cfi so don't take any of this uh i don't know if i've got to give that we barely off. fly We'll get back to you when we get back in the plane. We're just doing a VFR flight. We're just gonna go straight from here to there. Um, this one right here, I may tell you to give me that frequency. Uh, it's the same frequency. It's all CTAF. So from here, here, and here, we'll be on the same frequency the whole time. So once I get over here, I'll say Isabel traffic, Cessna November 3598 Julia, overhead, transitioning westbound at so many thousand feet, just to let them know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. All right, interior, we got to do our passenger brief. So the passenger brief, I know that you know most of this, but by law, I'll have to tell you. I understand. So I've already showed you how to work your <coughs> seat belt. Corona. You work your door by pulling this handle right here. This door right here, your, that lock sometimes gets stuck. I've showed you how to work that, just pull there. This is your emergency exit. This is your emergency exit. If for some reason something was to happen, you can't get out there kick out a window i don't care as long you're, as i don't have to go through that one yeah your smoking sections out on that wing tip and that wing tip you can't <laughs> smoke anywhere else if you can get out there to get it you can have it um in the event of an emergency landing i may tell you dad to pop joke. huh i said dad joke yeah <laughs> in the event of emergency landing i may tell you to pop open your door the wind will keep it pushed like this but all you're doing is unlatching it in the case that we was to crash this wouldn't jam the door shut okay mm -hmm. it's not gonna happen but by law all right so better safe than sorry yeah uh keep your feet off of the pedals and off of the controls unless i tell you otherwise don't touch any switches or circuit breakers or anything like that oh I'm if you have this. to throw up i don't have any you can turn it towards me if if you have to throw up um i don't have any sick bags so you have to hold your shirt open like this and throw up in your shirt <laughs> it, sound, it sounds gross but i'm being serious like it's i'd much rather you clean your shirt than me clean the airplane <laughs> understood all right we ready. Uh, Hobbs tech time circuit breakers all static brakes pedal test. All right, let's start. C track back and lock. Avionics are off. Carb heat is off. Mixture is full rich. Throttle is slot. We're gonna prime. Prime. 
primers in and lock. Brakes. Master on. Mags to both. Clear prop! Clear! Full pressure immediately came up.
a good landing. Yeah, it was. All right, as you guys can see, we made it safely on the ground. We're just tying down the airplane now so it don't blow away. And uh, then we're going to go fishing. Time to fish. Now the fun part becomes they've closed this down due to the old 19. Can't say the C word. It'll get demonetized. We didn't even think about that. Like, I didn't even think about flying from Georgia where everything's open to Alabama. We get here and there's no planes. We're like, oh, the gas is open. <laughs> Hell, it suck. Have to call somebody from Georgia to bring us some gas. Nah, it's open though. So we think what we're gonna have to do is walk down that way and yeah, down, next to, down next to the taxiway where those buildings are. We're gonna have to walk a pretty good distance to, to be able to fish, but we made it alive. First half over. All right, guys, we, uh, we're done fishing now. We went ahead and collapsed the rods back down. I was gonna explain that. People were wondering how we brought those onto an airplane. It's because they're the small and the dock demons and the little collapsible Shakespeare ones that you get from Walmart, the little cheap ones. I got something on the lens there, I see that. Uh, caught some grass, both set world records, I think. Uh, doing pretty good, so we're gonna go ahead and call it a day and head back to the airplane. So you probably can't see it, but we gotta walk all the way to those little buildings over there to get back to the airplane. And we're hoping they have fuel. I can't believe you missed that monster I got there. Yeah. Get it on camera. Monster grass. <laughs> we did see a muskrat, but I didn't get to film it in time. He had killed another little animal carrot animal. I think it's a baby. Oh it may have been its baby. Okay. Might have been a baby muskrat. We'll go with the happy ending. It was a baby muskrat. It was a mama carrot. <laughs> Alright. So we've been walking like 20 minutes and we're like maybe a third of the way. Reminds me of being in the military. Just walking for no reason for forever. Everything we're carrying is heavy as hell. This place is closed so it looks creepy. Bro, look at that right there. Oh, that's a crime scene right there. For sure. Dude, this place being closed like being here. Being a man. just some old dude's van but we're like rape van for sure <laughs> go knock on it a bunch of people run out of it Man. dirty steve in the gang so right now we're waiting for the wind to die down so we're getting out of the sun and just chilling like a bunch of homeless people all right we got her topped off getting ready to go again we were going to wait for a sunset flight for it to smooth out. Give you guys a little bit of a better picture or whatever on the way back. The sun setting in the background, real beautiful, but uh, we can't. We got to get going. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be nasty. So, away we go.
We made it. Mags off. Master off. Lights off. Hobbs tack time and we go home. Let's go tire down. All right, guys, that was our flight and fishing trip day with my twin. Hey, turn that off for a second. <laughs> okay, hang on. There you go. Okay, so what, what that was is uh, we paid uh, some money for some fuel, and because the pumps were messed up in Gunnersville and it wouldn't take a card, we just gave some dude money to turn the pump on manually. He said he works there. I hope he did. Uh, otherwise, we just we got gas uh, for well, not for free, but he got it. Anyways, uh, we did not get a receipt because it was just some guy sitting there with a truck telling us he's the one that turns the pump on because it's messed up. Uh, so that money's supposed to be deducted off the flat. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. Now. So we made it though. That's the important thing. Uh, we caught a lot of fish. Forgot to record. Man, I really wish you'd have got that monster. I caught. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. We'll be back to you as soon as we can with another video.